Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in and remember to hit that subscribe button to be notified of upcoming videos on writing, teaching and leadership. Now today I'm going to be focusing on writing and in particular I'll be talking about and giving you a taster of my newly launched series aimed at ages four to six. So it's a picture book series that centers around Mervyn the Magic Martian. Earlier this year, in January or February 2021, I published the first in the series entitled Mervyn the Magic Martian Visits Earth. This series focuses on the key character of Mervyn the Magic Martian as he travels to various places and has different adventures. So, I know that my previous videos on writing have focused on other people's writing, on the story structures that you can use and on the kinds of stories that you can draw on for your own writing. But today is very much about my own writing and my own publications. So this book aimed at ages four to six, here it is, can be found on Amazon and also on my soon to be launched website. This current one is in the language of English, but you will find in the future because I'm getting translated that you can purchase the book in a similar way um, as you can currently in English in multiple languages like French, German and soon to be launched Arabic. So I wanted to give you a taste of what the book is like. As I say, it's a picture book aimed at ages four to six and it centers around Mervyn the Magic Martian. So you've got a very colorful illustration on the front and it, throughout the book you'll see colorful illustrations that engage the children. It's aimed at ages four to six and could be used as part of a series of topics focusing on space, for example, or on leaving home, changing schools, or starting school, because it focuses on Mervyn's adventures and his experiences, emotions, as he travels to Earth, leaves home, meets people. So it's about friendship as well. It has rhyme in it and rhythm and repetition. So it's key for ages four to six. And I thought I'd give you a taster of what it's like. So let's have a little look. Inside you've got the colorful illustration, the first page focuses on Mervyn's different expressions and his feelings as he travels to Earth and during the course of the book. So a nice little discussion with your own child or with children in your class could take place in regards to the different feelings that Mervyn is experiencing. And that's very much part of the early years development in terms of how to express yourself with feelings. So let's have a little listen and look at the book. Here we go. That's me over there with that big red book. It's packed full of magic. Do you want to take a look? My name's Mervyn and I'm from Mars. You know, that planet way up in the stars. So there he is looking very cheery with his red book at home on planet Mars. And you've got some discussion that you'd have about the planet, the color of it, some meteors and so on. So the illustrations lend themselves to discussion work. It's red, like my book, like the one in your hand. So this book is also red. The story, oh, it's coming. I've got it all planned. So I'm Mervyn from Mars with a big red book. It's packed full of magic, so let's take a look. Nice bit of repetition there. There we go, with your lovely spread for different illustrations. Today's a big day. It's real big for me. I'm leaving my home, going on a journey. I've heard a whole lot about the place that I'll go, but what I'll find when I get there, I don't really know. So he's uncertain of what he's going to experience. And there he is looking a little bit confused or quizzical. I asked my mum, she said, so there's his mum, just wait and see. I sure want to know what's waiting for me. So you can see that the book has the rhyme, the repetition and the rhythm, and it has some colourful illustrations showing various aspects of space, the planets, meteors, stars, astronaut, aliens. So there's quite a lot that could be discussed with younger children, as well as the feelings 
that Mervyn experiences during the course of the book, and in particular as he's about to leave home, in the same way that young children when they start school might have feelings of uncertainty. So that's a taster of Mervyn the Magic Martian Visits Earth, and it's the first in a series of books all about Mervyn the Magic Martian as he explores different places and has different experiences. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then make sure to pick up a copy or order a few for your class from Amazon and my soon-to-be-launched website. And look out for the translated copies that will be coming soon. I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for tuning in. If you want to be notified of upcoming videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button for videos on teaching, writing and leadership. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.